This is a video of the pinwheel rabbit trap. You want this to be two foot in diameter. This is actually 24 and a half inches and just cause I screwed up. But you take and mark off the 12 inch in the middle, put your screw in there, take your ink pen and your string and you go around and you cut it out. This is three quarter inch plywood and you'll find out why it needs to be three quarter inch. It makes it kind of heavy, but you'll find out why. The top of it, just hold it there. The top of it is 22 inches. Go ahead, just hold it down there. 22 inches. Put your tape measure across there, Mike. It's 22 inches. This is actually 22 and a half, but again, you're going to mark off your center, take your string, go around it and cut it out. The next thing that you'll do is take this top half, set it on top. You're not going to drill. These are inch and an eighth inch, inch and an eighth holes. You're not going to drill them now. You're going to set that down over the top of it. And you're going to drill pilot holes where these caps are so that they match. You'll just take a little drill bit, drill through there enough to mark it. And that's where your caps go. These are 15 and a half inches apart from each other. 15 and a half inches. All right. So then, once you get your pilot hole drills drilled, you take your cap. I take the caps and I pre-drill them with a little drill. And then you take and screw, take a screw. Let me have that screw. You're going to take and screw that into the wood. Get your three set up. You're not going to put your post in and you're not going to glue them yet. So now you've got your caps on. And these poles are... These poles are 24 inches. You're going to need four of them. 24 inches a piece. You can cut them off to fit after you get your trap done. Might as well go ahead and get 10 foot because we already messed up the trigger mechanism. The middle one is your trigger mechanism. It's going to look something similar to this. You're going to cut it out. You're going to have two three-inch screws here at the bottom. You're going to have a cap. And I put a uh, rivet in there. And the reason you want that in there, because when it sets up, it's going to be at an angle like that. And uh, initially, I thought that when the rabbit tapped that apple on them three inches, it would push it out, but it doesn't. When it sets at an angle like this, the rabbit comes and he bumps it and it spins. And when it spins, your notch, where'd, where'd it go? Your notch comes off of the thing and we'll show that to you right now. Got to be on the outside. I'm in. Sorry about all the camera work, but... So you can see that everything's flexing a little bit and Mike's going to show you, go from that side and just push it towards me, Mike. Did you see it spinning? Spin that right there on top. It spins real easy that way, so that's why you got to have that screw on there. Everything is flexing. Wait a minute. Go ahead and push it. See it spinning afterwards? And that sets it off. Then you're one rabbit richer.